Love and greetings to you. Welcome to the Marriage Foundation YouTube channel. We have over 50,000 subscribers now and we're growing every day. By the time you watch this video, we may have over 100,000 because people come to us because they've discovered what I've discovered, that marriage is an amazing thing. I used to be a divorce mediator over 22 years ago and a couple asked me to help save their marriage. I didn't know what to do, but I thought I'll give it a try. And so I did a deep dive into what marriage is. I discovered there's a science to it because I'm not a psychologist. I was a mediator, good at communication, good at sorting problems out. And I thought, okay, I could help them. But wow, what I discovered made me completely closed down my practice and it was lucrative in San Diego, California. Trust me, I was doing very well, but I couldn't do it anymore because I realized that people were getting the wrong kind of quote unquote help. That marriage doesn't just have potential. It's basically no one knows anything about marriage. And so what I've done is I've created a science for marriage. I have even redefined it. So this is five ways to a sustainable marriage. That's the topic. What a sad question. How do I make my marriage sustainable? We, <laughs> we don't get married just to maintain a status quo of keeping it together. That was not what happened when you met your soulmate, was it? Oh my God, I can't wait to marry you and have a sustainable marriage. No, you were psyched. You were thinking you were going to be filled with so much happiness. Every day it would get better and better. And what the heck happened is that reality set in, but not reality of your being together. The reality of the misinformation that we're getting bombarded with daily. Who teaches us about marriage? The truth is Hollywood. We learn about marriage from movies, from sitcoms, from TV programs, some of us from books. And now when we're having a little trouble, some people refer to articles. They start buying books and it's all wrong. It's all wrong. Because I was a mediator, I didn't get into Western psychology. I asked the question, why did we get married in the first place? You got married to be happy. You got married to experience unconditional love, to share this bond with your soulmate on this high plane of consciousness. Consciousness, a consciousness of joy, ever increasing joy ever expanding love. That's why we get married, not to have something sustainable. So number one, forget the term sustainable. And number two, strive for joy. Number three, this is important because we are discouraged by what's out there. So number three is to understand how much power you have to completely change the dynamics of your marriage. You have tremendous power. We are bombarded with negativity. The divorce rate alone is enough to discourage anyone. Our friends who are married and are bitching and moaning, they discourage us. What we see on television, what we hear from the pop psychologists, it's all discouraging. Why? because they don't know. Frankly, they don't know. Like I said, I redefined marriage. Marriage is an individual spiritual path. A spiritual path is a path we take to achieve the utmost joy and love. People who are seeking God are on a spiritual path because God is the ultimate joy and love. But we can have that even if we're atheists, because learning how to love is learning the way. And so you individually got married 
to do this path with your soulmate so you can encourage each other. You know, that out there they talk about, oh, you could learn from each other and it's misunderstood. We're not here to teach our soulmate or to let them know when they've made a mistake or correct them. We're here to love them. We're here to learn how to love unconditionally. And if by your example, because you're learning to love them unconditionally, they, so wow, he or she is loving me unconditionally. I want to try that too. That's how we learn from each other. So number three, understand how much power you have. You have free will. You have volition. You have consciousness. Connect the dots. You don't have to, in this next instant, if you knew how, you could transform your marriage. So a big part of this is learning about it. And so number four is put your energy into the dynamics of your marriage, not the do this, don't do that, and am I doing this right, and am I turning him on, am I turning her on, all that stuff is mundane. The dynamics of your marriage are intended to be up here where you're connecting at a very high level and the day-to-day -day stuff is getting taken care of why not it's so beneath you to have to struggle with the day-to-day -day stuff when you lift your consciousness above it when you live in this higher state and just take care of everything it'll it'll be fine you know that everything turns out fine ultimately it's it is what it is but you're partner, your soulmate, is there for you to learn to love. Number five, reconnect. Reconnect. The way you connected when you were dating. The way you were connected while you were engaged. The way you connected if you had a honeymoon on your honeymoon. Connect with all your heart, mind, and soul cultivate the love, cultivate the devotion, transform your marriage into what it's intended to be. You know, we have a lot of offerings. All you need to do is go to our website. You obviously subscribe to this channel, but go to our website, see what we have. We have everything is affordable or free. These YouTube videos are free and they're priceless. Articles are free. The books, very inexpensive for what you get. The courses, if your marriage is in serious trouble, the courses are amazing. Look at our reviews. You could ask a counselor, it's a free service. There's so much for you here. We're here to help you. This is our mission. We are a nonprofit, but who cares whether we were making a profit or not? We're here to serve you, to show you the way to live in your marriage in joy, in love, in harmony, and that's what your marriage is for. It's a matter of understanding. I appreciate, I'm Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. I appreciate your coming by. I appreciate your interest. I would really appreciate if you do something about your marriage and you could leave a comment and say, wow, I followed you. You are amazing what you shared with us. And I'm not amazing. It's just that I discovered what's right in front of our noses. God bless you. Thank you for stopping by. And I hope to see you again. Take care.